One of those invited to the White House Thursday to see the launch of My Brother's Keeper Initiative was our guest today, Michael Skolnick of GlobalGrind.com and Hip Hop fame. And also in that standing room only crowd, well, Fox News anchor Bill O'Reilly. Yes, even the president found some humor there. And, you know, if I can, if I can persuade, you know, Sharpton and O'Reilly to be in the same meeting, <laughs> then, then it means that, then it means that there are people of good faith who want to get some stuff done, even if we don't agree on everything. And that's our focus. Even if we don't agree on anything, I would say, even if we don't agree on everything is what the president said. My question for Bill is, do they agree on anything? O'Reilly actually went on and spoke with presidential advisor Valerie Jarrett and offered one of his solutions for the problems plaguing young people of color. Now, I submit to you that you're going to have to get people like Jay-Z, right, Kanye West, all of these gangster rappers to knock it off. And you've got to barrage, 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 and make it uncomfortable to have a baby out of wedlock. Make it uncomfortable to sell drugs. You've got to reverse the peer pressure. You see where I'm coming from here? You see where I'm coming from? Yes, Bill, we see you. Uh, gentlemen, what did you make of that? Huh? Wow, mm. wow. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Kanye West as a gangster rapper, that's the new one there off the <laughs> bat, you know? <laughs> you know, but I just think he's just so misguided in his analysis of what's happening, you know? So the Correct Association of New York has over 170 years of data showing the roots of some of these problems. And it doesn't start with Jay-Z and Kanye at all. You know, we have a serious problem. We have more people in prison than any other country in the world, and we want to start with the rappers, you know, who are the, the, the low-hanging fruit for him to go after. I think it's, it's ridiculous. This to is, it, in the media, there's a the technical focus. term for this when you have to deal with Bill O'Reilly remarks, and it's a quadruple fact check because it's wrong in, like, four ways. Right. But let's just deal with, as you said, A, Kanye and Jay-Z, not gangster rappers. Just yeah. catch up your terminology from yeah. the 90s, right. bro. Like, work with us. <laughs> B... Jay-Z is the American story, right? That's why he was campaigning with the president. He overcame adversity. The last time I checked, he is pro-fatherhood, has a child in wedlock, and talks a lot about respecting his beautiful wife. Now, I don't mean to get up here and be just too defensive of, of Jay-Z, Michael, but there is a problem here when even the very examples the right supposedly seizes on in crossover diverse American culture actually don't reflect the point they're trying to make. When I first saw this, I was so offended by his lack of, of, of sensitivity to where America is today. But then I actually, when I see this again, I think to myself, these guys are old and they're dying <laughs> and they're not going to be around as a new America emerges. And that's what the president put forth on Thursday was this idea of a new America where we're going to take care of everyone. We're going to focus on everyone, whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're Latino, gay, straight, undocumented or documented. We are going to fight for you and we're going to take care of you. And if you want to put Jay-Z and Kanye West as the problem, gangster culture didn't create, you know, uh, kids who can't eat. Gangster culture didn't create kids who can't have uh, clothes when it's cold outside. Gangster culture didn't create low third grade reading levels. Actually, gangster culture might have done that, but it wasn't hip hop. It was the gangsters of corporations that profit off of the, uh, the destruction of urban communities, the private prison industry, right? I mean, the, the, these corporations that continue to profit, and if the president can break that, right. then we have some progress. Three judges in Pennsylvania indicted for selling kids, selling kids to youth detention facilities. You know what I'm that's saying? That's gangsterism. Like, that's gangster. You know, that's really gangster. You know, I mean, but we want to not look at the systemic right. structural oppression that's right. happening. And you're, you're talking about a, a case, and there's a documentary about it, where the for-profit prison industry was in cahoots with the judge kids sending minors. Yes. Yeah. Um, Tremaine, what about the point Michael raises? This isn't only race, it's also age. I think not only is it age, but this is just to piggyback on what you all are talking about. It's a political smokescreen. And what's troubling is it plays well into the base. So meanwhile, we can deflect attention and say it's because of the rappers and we don't have to get busy in the real work, right? And yet, Juan, what you saw here was Valerie did go and do the interview. And she actually doesn't, I happen to know, doesn't do a ton of these interviews. She sat down with, she sat down with the Rev, she sat down with Chuck Todd, and she sat down with Bill O'Reilly and said no to a lot of other people. And uh, she found some reason that they wanted to engage with Bill O'Reilly. Well, you know, the fact is, you, you, at one point, we were all surprised, I'm sure, that he was at the White House. So the real question is, you know, you're going to give him his five minutes again of fame. But in many ways, you know, this race permeates all these issues, right? So we, we remembered when we, when Congress was dealing with issues of uh, violence, particularly drumming up these images of gangsters and everything, and gangs in general for uh, people of color youth. At the same time, they were also looking at the issues of shootings in suburban schools, mm -hmm. mostly by whites. When the, the conversation, the discourse for that 
latter example was therapy. therapy. How mm -hmm. do we deal with these issues? Yeah. When it came to issues of people of color who were, who, uh, who were young, the issues were excessive sentencing, more yes. harsher penalties. I mean, that's what we're dealing with. And finally, the president's talking about these issues in a very clear way, talking yeah. about both race and its manifestations across all these institutions. Yeah, and there's a silver lining there in that I don't think the, the rap or counterpunch is working as well, although they had Bill at the White House. We thought we'd talk about it. Michael had mentioned we'll talk about it later.